Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make this uh, siege bunker unit, which is basically a siege tank on top of a bunker. And unfortunately, I did do a regular tutorial, but uh, it started skipping in the frames, and there was a lot of the visual part that was messed up, although the audio was okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a lazy tutorial this time, and hopefully it'll work out. See the bunker here attacks the units, it follows them. Even those units will... Uh, fire from it and then uh, one last thing is that it plays a little death animation when the bunker gets destroyed So uh, first thing I went ahead and did is I went to the uh, just regular bunker unit and I just duplicated that. So using duplicate and then I just wanted the bunker itself and then the uh, bunker's actor. And that created this, renamed all of this, siege bunker, added the prefix to make it easy to search. Um, I did go ahead and get rid of the burn down behavior. So it's your choice whether you want to keep that or not. And then the only other main things I have here is I added the weapon and whatnot, which we have to create those before we can start adding it. So the next part, what I did was I created, well, I suppose I actually duplicated the model for the siege tank first. So to make it easy to find, I just went to the unit, then I found the uh, model over here and view linked model and then I just copy pasted it and then I renamed it up here I'm pretty sure I didn't change any of this stuff at all so that's all the same so then I went over to the actors Let's see and um, first I created the uh, site operations for it which will basically tell you uh, where you want to put the um, the siege tank in relation to the uh, to the bunker which a good way to uh, find where you want to put stuff is to look at the model in the um, cutscene editor And you can go to render, show geometry, attachment points. You can see you got all these little triangles on here now. And if you hit shift D, you'll bring up this little menu and you can look at the attachment points in their name by clicking on them. You can uh, see it should be yeah, now you can see it'll kind of highlight which one you're looking at so you can find out the names that way. And the one I'll end up wanting to use is overhead. So it'll start with the uh, siege tank in that position and then I'll change it a little bit from there. So that is, yeah, the starting here. I created a new actor, the uh, side operation attachment here. I created one of those. Then I went to attachment query methods and I clicked on direct and went to overhead zero, which is that triangle I showed you earlier. And then uh, this additional one uh, I found out I wanted it lowered a little bit, so this the Z goes up and down, the X goes right and left, the Y goes uh, side to side. And there's some other kinds of offsets you can do, which are in Prozac Muse's tortu tutorial, where he'll like rotate them with different kinds of side operations too. So you can look at that if you want more details on side operations. Then at that point, I went and uh, I believe I just copy 
pasted, let's see. And now this is the unit. Now I'm looking for the uh, model edition one is what I want. So to do to add that one, I went to uh, model, model edition, which is the default. Made one of those. That came up with this. And um, I changed the scale of it to make it smaller so it fit a little bit better. Then um, this is where the site operations come into play. First, uh, you add, I think this starts on one of these, and you go to the actor bullet, and then you choose your uh, new siege bunker you made. And then uh, these are the site operations I just made. And you want to make sure you put them in the right order so it starts there, and then it changes it based on where it was. And unfortunately for mine, I don't know why these menus are all messed up. I always have to hit the tab key to get it to where I want it. Uh, let's see, events. So unit birth. When your new unit gets created, you want to create this extra model. When it dies, you want to destroy it. And I'll show you, I also created an additional model to show the uh, siege tank death whenever the bunker dies. So when this dies, it doesn't show any kind of animation, but I add that in later. Actor creation, play the uh, stand animation. <coughs> so play once, stands, play forever. And then this um, comes into play after we make the weapon, but basically it makes the uh, siege tank do that little shooting animation. When, it's, when the weapon starts, it'll keep doing that animation. When the weapon stops, it'll stop doing that animation. And then the name here is what you referenced there. You created, you chose the name here, then you stopped it. You chose the same one and stopped it when the weapon stops. Then let's see, what else? Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and show the death model here. That's just... Um, a model animation style uh, one shot. I don't know what the difference between this one shot and this one shot is, but uh, both of them seem to work whenever I use them. So, and I changed to the same scale that I had the uh, model edition as, and then I gave it the host of that attachment model so that it would go there when it was created. And the only event I added was the unit death and create it, that siege bunker. So I think the only, oh yeah, we don't want to forget to make the uh, turret actor. That's important too, so that the uh, turret will turn. And I just uh, duplicated the siege tank one. Siege tank siege, duplicate, check this box, check this box. And then none of this changes, but uh, this changes. You have to go over here and choose your, uh, your siege tank, siege bunker tank. And create, I don't think there's anything new here. Oh, this probably doesn't even need to be here because that has to do with when the actual siege tank morphs back and forth. So you could probably delete that. So I think at this point, you're ready to just go ahead and create the uh, weapon. <coughs> so, well, let's go to the unit. It's easier to find it that way, I find. Siege mode, weapon, siege tank, cruiser, shock cannon, view linked weapon. That's my copy there. I didn't rename that, which I probably should have. But uh, one thing I want to point out here is they do make it a little more complicated than it needs to be because 
they have a switch effect where it does slightly different stuff depending on what happens so on mine I didn't even bother with the uh, directed stuff so I only needed one effect on mine and I'll show you how that works when you duplicate it so uh, let's see oh and an easy way to find out what is connected to what um, you just right click on here and show explain link and that'll kind of show you like this actor happens because of this directed thing so that means I won't even need to copy that because I don't want the directed stuff so I won't need to copy that or that and one of these um, looks like it's this one goes because of that switch effect so that's one thing I ended up having to change on the uh, new actor so when I have a, uh, let's see, this one, right? Yeah. So here, when I made the duplicated version, I had to switch this to the uh, new weapons damage. Let's create. Let's see, did I change? I thought I didn't change the one. Yeah, you can see here it's at the new effect, Crucio Cannon Blast copy. So you go ahead and duplicate the weapon. You need the attack, the damage model, target impact fire. You only want the uh, blast because like I said I didn't want any of this other stuff and I'll go ahead and create this one because I want to show you that when you do this um, you won't see a lot of the st new stuff you created and that's because a lot of these actor events are referencing these old things and the new uh, damage that we made is normally referenced by this and since we didn't create that it doesn't get referenced here and what we ended up doing is um, this effect see blast 2 in this case it's blast 2 so once you do that you see all this stuff changes and I went ahead and do, did that for the display effect I did the same one but, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these extra things So let's see, you got the attack there. I think it's the launch model. Ah, uh, yeah, this is something I have to show in a little bit. Model. Attack copy. This should go correctly, I believe, when you make the new one. This is the one you had to change to the right effect. And so back to actors. And so you got your action actor, which does the attacking and whatnot. And one thing that took me forever to figure out and I had to ask in the forums and whatnot was this launch model uh, previously it was uh, firing from the bunker itself instead of the uh, siege tank so normally this is like generic attack launch model but instead you have to go to uh, generic attack launch model You have to duplicate it, and that's all good. And what I ended up with was this one. You have to go into events, at actor creation, you go to host, you add a host site offset, host. Hmm. That's interesting, it was in system. Well, before I had typed it in like this. But I guess it must have gotten it okay. And then uh, the actor, you have to choose 
the um, bunker you made. Let's see each, the tank, the attachment model. And then uh, add a sight operation so it fires from that tank's weapon. And let's see, have we gone through everything? Anything else for. I think that's all correct. I remember one thing I forgot to do with the siege bunker is you have to add the um, attack ability. So you just hit the little plus and add the attack ability. And I went ahead and added it to the command card too, which I don't think that's necessary, but if you want the player to directly control it, then you do need it. And I believe that's everything. Let's see, actors, unit side operation, attack launch model, that's the one we went through. It's the attachment model, the turret, or turret, I don't know how to pronounce it. Model copy.